I've got news for you. Hi, this is Shalom, and you're in tune to the Unruly Cooley and Dancing Clear Show scene. Link up, don't touch the dial. Make sure you tune in. Scene, yeah, man, and don't move. Don't you dig? You dig? Yeah, man. Do that. Boom. Welcome, guys. Welcome, guys, here right now. Another exclusive interview. We're here with none other than Shalom. Welcome. I've got news for you. Yeah, man, no respect. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're going to do a quick fire questions and um, keep it brief so we can. I've got so many here for you. All right. All right. Okay. Um, first of all, um, if you could just introduce your name. I know I've said he's Shalom, but if you could just give us a little, uh, you know, history behind where the name came from and why you chose it. Okay, well, the name came from my producer, Phil Matthias. I was, you know, doing some, some songs for him. I was doing an album. You know, my name was Steve Harper then, okay. you know, and um, he said he was trying to find a new name for me. Right. Because Harper, the name Harper was a whole magazine in London, so okay. he wanted to give me a, a, a new name. Right. And so he was searching and he found this name and he said, this name suits you because you're humble and you're always as quiet and peaceful. And, and so he said, the name Shalom. And I said, Shalom, but you don't know what, what it means. He said, it means hello and goodbye. Right. And I said, well, we could try it and if it don't work. Yeah. Then you know, we'll okay. move on to something else, but it did, it worked. Nice. It's a nice it. name. It's yeah, a nice name. Loved it. All right, so what age did you start in music and who and oh, what inspired you? I start I I was singing from a, from the age eight. Okay. But I start in music. I start to sing professionally or vocally. I met Sugar Miner too. Right. Sugar Miner, the legendary. Yes. A legend, Sugar Miner. Yeah. I met him in 1984 mm -hmm. at 82 Chisholm Avenue. And so I met him there. I, I did my first recording, it was 1986. My first single came out, okay. Teenage Lover. Right. And that's where my my whole career began with Sugar Miner and the Youth Man promotion crew. Yeah, okay. That's it. All right, how would you describe your music and um, you know what inspires you to write? No, or then? Oh, you could do a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah? Just okay, then, you know, the, the music back then, you know, everybody was singing over people's song, and I was writing my own song, you know, Sufferation in the Ghetto and, you know, Free South Africa and, and, and all these things, but that wasn't, you know, the, 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 the popular thing to do because, right. you know, everybody else, Sanchez was singing over songs and he was blowing up big. And so Sugar said, sing over to them song, yeah. So I'm sing, one night of touching, one night, one night, girl. And it did well in London, you know. Yes. And 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 but the the music that I sing now, it's it's inspirational and 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 and, and roots music, you know, right. music to uplift the people, okay. you know, which That's is the gospel, nice. positive, yes, which is the gospel, right, you know, of Jesus Christ. And so and so we we're not shame. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because we believe that, you know, as children of God, we have the right mm. to pull, you know, me I say the sufferer, mm. the, the the people that minds are 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 are, are twist up in, 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 in the system, system that they right. can have a better way and, and see a better vision and see a light. Yes. yes. You know, through the music that we sing. Right. So yeah. along the way when you made that change, um, were you ever at any point tempted to go back to the more commercial worldly as we say, music or writing or anything? Well, I, I, I wouldn't say tempted to go back, you know, because I, when I got saved, it was my choice. I went to the church to take my woman out, out of the church and one touch me get. Oh, wow. You know, from the preacher man, the father, you know, the church about Jesus. You yes. know what I'm saying? And, you know, my life begins there. I, I think my, the next step of my life begins there. And I begin to, you know, just look into myself, get into more. You know, my, my Lord and Savior, you know what I say, and, 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 and getting to strengthen myself. He said, Come on from among them and be separated, mm -hmm. touch not, taste not. But I have to strengthen myself yeah. as a person, as an individual, to get mature in right. what I'm doing, yes. to know more about the man I'm serving. Yeah. And so, you know, it, 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 it pushed me to, to, to see him. To mm -hmm. say that, listen, I want to go back and reach other people. I right. want to pull them out. Oh, yes. uh, oh my God, do that. Yeah. You know, and so we begin to to see doors open. You know, I met Paul Barclay from Catalyst Crew, and and we begin to 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 be a part of that later. That's in 
2014. Okay. You know, I met Paul Bartley. Right. You know, and I, we, we begin to do some music, and his his type of music is kind of coincided with what I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we're working together. You know. Okay. Yeah. Right. So um, you don't have to think about this one. It, you might just remember. Mm -hmm. um, what was the first single that you ever bought? The, uh, someone, someone else. So you, I ever bought? Yes. My first single. Yes. I think the first. And it wasn't even a single, you know, it was an album. I, 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 I was searching to find an album that my, my parents, my mother mm -hmm. and her group, the Queer Sisters, they okay. did a, a, a gospel album and I, that was the first group I spent my money okay. to buy. Right, right. Yeah, oh, that's, that's nice. That's album. Very nice. Yeah, man, that was the first thing. Yeah. Okay, so what school did you attend and um, what happy memories do you have of school? Okay, um, the first school I attend, I remember, um, you know, Balmaji Primary. I used to go to basic school, but, you know, Balmaji Primary, you know, in a water house, and then from Balmaji Primary to Permacard Secondary. Right. So I, when, when I left Permacard Secondary, that was it for me. Right. You know, okay. it is a, a high school. But my memories of school was good, you know. Um, my, I, I, I can't forget my, um, my English teacher, Mr. Fisher. Oh, know, if you watch that's this a nice name. You know, I had a teacher called Mr. Fisher. Fisher as well. He's yeah. a nice teacher. He, 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 he teaches us a lot and, and, and I really love English because it, it teaches you how to compose and how to write and right. so that's where I get my, okay. my writing from. I'm not the greatest writer but yeah. I, I think I can write a good song. Okay. So when you write, where do you go? Um, do you sit by the beach or do you go in your room? You know, where are you inspired to sit down and write? Or is it just spontaneous anywhere well, and everywhere? Anywhere, you know. Um, but I'm on the bus and I'm writing a song, you know. Right. Um, it's, it's just where the inspiration hit you, you know. Mm. And now we're living in a digital age where you have the phone, so yes. you can just sit down there and just, and yeah. just, uh, and tap, just, tap, uh, tap and away. just a flow in. But yeah. I, my, I, I wrote a song. In Africa, I was in Africa in 2000, in the year 2000. I was in Malawi and I, I can't forget this song. I don't sing it yet, mm -hmm. but this song is going to be powerful when I get this song out there. Okay. You know, it's about nature. I was sitting there, you know, just watching, you know, the hills and the breeze and, oh, nice. you know, and the trees moving. And I was saying, God, I can't write a tune about nature. Mm. And I tell you, I, I, I hold a guitar in my hand, and when I strung the strings and yes. the guitar, the music just pop out of nowhere. Wow. May I tell you, when the song began to come to me, mm. I couldn't contain it. I run. Mm. I put on the guitar, I run. <laughs> Go in my room, I start bawling. I, I, I was crying and writing the song at the same time. Wow. But if I'm to anybody, <laughs> may I write the song, may I burn. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right to the song. <laughs> may I the song I'm finished in Africa. Yeah. Oh, so he told me to watch out for this song. So when so you yeah. hear this song. You need to watch out for this song. You see, I, I, I really don't even want to sing the night still. But, he doesn't know, want to give it, it away. Know, I think we deserve I, I, to I hear a little snippet. To, <laughs> you know, but you know, you are the birds. You made the bees. You made the flowers, you made the trees, you made the rain to fall from the sky, and you made these tears to fall from my eyes. Yeah. Mm. That's, That's nice. Very Both nice. Very Both nice. Some. So it sounds like you've traveled quite a bit. Um, I traveled, uh, I wouldn't say a lot. Um, I, I traveled a lot when I was with Sugar Minot. Uh, we, we, we toured the world. We right. went. Um, 54 other states in America. Right. You know, when I um, now get my hit songs, you know, um, my, my hit song, I, I went to um, Japan by myself. Right. You know, when there were Mighty Diamonds and Joe's Wales, I went to, to Africa, I went to Gambia first, okay. and then I went to Malawi. I went to, I, I went to America also. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I did a little traveling right. as my own, you know, self. Yeah. You know, but with Sugar Minot, I toured. Yeah. World. And it wow. Was what an thing. experience that must have been. <laughs> but it was great. It, it was, you know, teaching me the road and, and, and knowing, you know, not to just be anxious, you know, mm. but to be fast and steadfast and, right. and, and humble in yourself and know that. Not let nothing, you know, blow your mind. Yes. You know, yes. Don't get too, you know, quick for ground that. But mm. 
you know, humble yourself. Nice. Um, it, really, it really teaches me how to be a better, you know, artist and person. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so is there any countries that you've not been to you'd like to go to? I want to go to Australia. Australia. Mm -hmm. I want to go to China. I want to go to Israel. Israel's amazing. I've you been know, there. I want Beautiful to go to place. Israel. Yes. I, I, I want to go to um, Rome. Uh, we we scheduled to go to um, Italy, but it, it, it didn't manifest because one of the artists back in the days mm. didn't came on the tour and he was a part of the the, 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 the extended tour in, in, in Europe. But then they postponed that part. I, I've been to Switzerland, I've been to Germany, I've okay. been to, you know, um, Holland, I've been to all those other places, you know. Okay. You know, and um, west side, west, east and west Germany, I've been there both. Right. You know, it's, it's nice. Okay. I love to travel. Yeah, traveling is good. It's yeah. a good experience. Yeah. Um, so, in terms of artists, imagine you had your own group you can form your own group this yes. is your group yeah. what artists would you have in there living or dead artists living or let's, dead. let's in make my it, group let's, yeah let's make okay. it four to five people okay i would have sugar mine out I, I, uh, I would definitely have dennis brown mm. and bob man would have to be a part of my group mm -hmm. you know and um the, and, and and even peter tosh peter tosh you nice. would have to be in my group and, it's a nice combination and the great <laughs> and the great i know what that was yes called. Very nice. That would be a bad yeah, no. group there. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any artist that you'd like to work with that you haven't? I would love to work with. I would love to work with um, artists. I would love to work with Kevin Downswell. I would love to work with um, Chronix. Mm. You know, I would love to work with Luciano. Yeah. You know, I, I, I would love to work with, you know, um what's uh, uh, she passed out. <laughs> That's all right. Well, I I've noticed that Ari Aretha Franklin. Uh, okay, she yeah, out, she's yeah. passed away. Yeah, yes. Yeah, but, but, I was but, thinking you've named you named male artists. Also, yes. you know, yes. and, and and you know you mm. know, I, I would love to work with these artists. Okay. Yeah. So say you're like the most powerful man in the music industry. Mm. You have all the powers, what you say goes mm. what changes would you make or what would you do to where where the music is concerned yeah yeah within the music industry and there's a lot um to clean up you know some of the songs that is out there you know songs that degrade women songs that you know um telling the youths them to steal and to shoot hold up and shoot up mm. I, I would try to change all I, I would change all of that you know and bring clean music back Right. Music that will edify, strengthen, and, 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 and encourage the human race. Mm. Because I believe that music is powerful. Yes, And definitely. music transcends throughout all the hurt. You know what I mean? I say, when you play the music, and one man hear it, then it, 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 listen, the music is powerful. It is. And it I would do, I would clean up the music. Yeah, yeah. All the like slackness. It. Yes, yes. I've noticed clean actually, yeah, a lot of the artists that we've actually interviewed, yeah. They've more or less said the same thing. Yeah. Um, there seems to be um, yeah. a big concern for yeah. people, especially yeah. in Jamaica right now, yeah. in terms of music. Yeah, because it causes a lot, a lot of violence. Right. You know, it causes in, innocent people for dead. You know, and, and the, 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 the youths them are also gravitated to, you know, the artists, and they don't know that whatever they say is mm. what the youth them got do. Yeah. Because I listen to the music and the music say, yeah man, just put it the, put the, put the gun in the mm, song mm. and just go in the car and just lick it mm. and rain, 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 rain. No, mm. they, them thing there, no, you know, I promote that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're performing, do you ever get nervous? Yes. And have you ever had a block? Like, you know, you've just, oh, I forgot my lyrics. Yes. How do you disguise that? What do you do, you know, with your nerves? With, with a block, you know? I, I just try to slur or something. <laughs> but it happened to me. It, it happened more than one time. Yeah. You know, but the people, you know, will not pick that up. Just just maybe who you work with mm -hmm. would say, well, if you get the tune, you yeah. know what I mean? I said, well, I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get overexcited. Yeah. And, 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 and things happen. And, you know, but every time before I go on the stage, I am nervous. Right. You know, and you know, and then I pray, and then you know, Mr. God is, you know, give me strength now to just, you know, do what I have to do, and I just go out there and just, just do it. You know. Yeah, that. That's a key tip there. 
pray yeah. before yeah. anything, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Performance, whatever you're doing, it's yeah. really important, I think. Yeah. 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 Okay, so this is like out of the blue kind of question. I mean, who's your favorite sound system? Favorite your favorite system. sound. You, you oh, were expecting that. Back in the days? <laughs> yeah, back, back in, in the days, days uh, even now. Like, well, back, back in, in the days, days, my favorite song was Human Promotion you know, and, oh. um, and Kilimanjaro. Oh, you know, right. It was, was, was my favorite sound system. And Kilimanjaro is still a place you mean. Mm. You know, Human Promotion is in London, you know, and in Europe. But, you know, those two songs, you know, was my song. Right. I love yeah. them two songs there. Okay. Maybe nice. one extend from this one. This one. <laughs> Mr. Arpa, big up myself. Yes. Kilimanjaro, you my promotion. So. Okay. So, if there's, um, what kind of advice would you give a young person that's up and coming in the music industry? Maybe they've discovered they've got a talent to sing yes. or something. What advice would you give them as yes. a starter? Well, I tell them, you know, you know, if you love the music, you have to, you know go for it, you know, and, and, and sing good music, sing music to uplift the people, sing music to encourage, you know, don't try the easy way, you know, everybody else, I try the easy way to make a quick buck and get a quick bus, mm. you know, just try to do something that would last, you know, my song, you know, you know, that song means for you, it, it, it transcend from how long, how long now this song release and people still listen and love it like it just released last week mm. you know and so when you make good music it lives with you and it make you look young, young and fresh too yeah <laughs> you know somebody you know what i say a long time ago sing, but you know when i look like the age yeah you yeah know what i'm saying okay yeah. so i know you already mentioned you're working on a new song um yeah. you've been writing new song what can your fans and the people out there expect from you for 2019 2019, I am, you know, I am going for it. I'm, 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 I'm singing, you know, I'm going to, you know, and just praying that the Lord will just open the doors, you know, and, and, and I'm just going through them, you know what I'm saying? Um, the music that we have now, we have a, a, a song named Chant, Chant, we come for Chant, we come for Tear Down Satan Kingdom, and number one, number one, my number one and we also have news for you that we i i did it back over mm -hmm. you know this one is i've got more news i got good news for you so oh, yeah, let's hear a little snippet of that as well i know you, you did know, it and, and then you know you know and that one is um uh, give us a little piece let's hear a little bit huh? i've got news for you that's i know you did it at the beginning but <sighs> Oh, you've, you've got a block. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not studying it, but, you know, um, it, it, it's, it's really good. And when, when you get to know that song, when, when you listen to that song, you're going to hear, you know, it, it, it's telling a story about the young lady that I left, you know, and, and, and I, I found that I loved her and I couldn't live without her. So, you know, want her back. Okay. So the, the good news is, is that come back, man. Yeah. You know what I say? We want to start afresh. No, nice. you know I'm saying, and we, we, we also have a song named Woman. Mm. Woman, your heart is like a work of heart to me, yes. Queen by my side, you are a lioness, so truly. Fairer than 14 million stars, your light shine through, girl. Pretty little daughter, there's nobody like you. Lord, the way you're pretty, me Africa, your rose, fresh from the garden, best thing ever grown. Beautiful from the crown, so the man said, pull up. <laughs> so that, yeah man, that one is called Woman and that song is, you know, is to uplift women and to lift them up and That's to, nice. to let people understand that women are special and mm. we must love and treat them good, the best. Very nice. Mother Earth, woman. Very nice. Yeah. I think um, for myself being a woman as well, those kind of songs are very something that we just latch on to and yes, want to play. Definitely. It's good. Um, to hear a man uplift a woman in a positive light, you know, yes. yeah, very yeah. nice. Okay, so that wraps up all the questions. Wow. That was quick. Imagine that wraps him up and you've done very well. I so thank it. you so much. Thank <laughs> you. Um, it's finally, really is there a cool message? Head. Yes, you have for myself, I'm really cool and Don Sinclair for the work that we yeah, do. Yeah, Don Sinclair and you really cool. Well, I'm one of you you know, for, for this time, you know, this interview and, 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 and for what I'm hearing that you're doing, you know, interviewing the artists and, and you know, it, it's it's a good look and, and just keep doing the great work and, and keep carrying out the message and, you know, let people know that, you know, artists like us, we are still here and we're still singing and the music is coming at you. 
and it will change you. Yeah, man. So continue to do what you're doing, man. Thank Every you. Time. Thank yeah, you. Man. Big up. All right. So, guys, don't forget subscribe for the full interview with Shalom and much more.